Well now, this is a bit of a tonal change from the Sexy Brutale, isn't it? Happy Halloween in... April? I totally thought this game was gonna come out in some October. I was really caught off guard when it suddenly came out now. So, uh, this series has a little bit of significance for this channel, because uh, Outlast was the first game I ever played on this channel. It was actually the game that inspired me to, more or less, to make this channel in a weird sort of way. Not because I was like, oh my god, I gotta become a Let's Player for Outlast. It's, I, had a, I had a separate channel, and this one was this game wasn't fitting, and I was like, let's, I'm just gonna do my own thing, and that's how this happened. It's really weird that, in a weird sort of way, Outlast changed my life. <laughs> Which is super dramatic. Uh, so, I know nothing about this game. I, play, I played Outlast 1. I don't don't know anything about LS2. I saw a teaser trailer for it when they were saying it'll come out someday. Like I well, it must have been two years ago on YouTube, and that's it. So, yay! Looking forward to this. I say mostly sarcastically because this is basically a form of self-flagellation. Hooray! There are intense. Gore, violence, graphic sexual assault, strong language, please enjoy. See, that's like, things don't like match the parts, the, the beginning part and the ending part and... Like I said, looking forward to it. Lynn Langerman is an investigative journalist seeking the answers behind a pregnant woman murdered under impossible circumstances in rural Arizona. You are blank, Langerman. I said blank instead of Blake, didn't I? <laughs> Her husband, assistant, and cameraman. Record everything. Neither of you are fighters. To navigate the horrors waiting for you in the, de in the desert, your only choice are to run, hide, or die. So once again, we have a camera gimmick, just like last time. And once again, we are useless. And thy faults, even in the virginal fears of your whelping years, shall be visited upon you. Oh. That's a lot of quote for a short loading screen. Hey, Blake. Where are you? I'm scared. He's coming. Jessica? Oh, uh, no, no. I mean, I was dreaming about Jessica Gray from when we were kids. Oh, yeah. I, I haven't thought about her in ages. Hey, we're crossing into reservation land now. You said I'm looking for some sort of factory? Yeah. We can look, but there's nothing out here. It does look pretty empty. All the mercury in that woman's blood, she had to have spent at least a decade downstream from some pretty heavy industry. If you say so, man, you bought the time. We should record an intro while we're up here. Production value? Sure. Can't work my diaphragm with this thing on. Audio's gonna be crap. We'll have to- Whoa! What the fuck? Fuck! Sorry about that. My panel's a little soft, but uh, well, we're good! Oh, that was exciting. Get as much of the landscape behind me as you can. You got me? Yeah, we're good. Um, hum. Red leather, yellow leather, red leather, yellow leather. Have a soup pie. Have a soup pie. Okay. I'm Lynn Langerman, here for Newstomorrow.net. We're flying past the Have a Soup Pie Indian Reservation in central Arizona in search of the origins of murder victims. Hey, Jane Lynn, Doe. Um, I don't think you should say murdered. We don't know that. Oh, I'll say she strangled herself to death. That's what the police report says. We may play this before the doctor interviews. If this falls on the first 30, we need to get the word murder in there. We should probably mention the fetus, too. I mean, how it just... Here, let me try a version that can serve as an intro for the whole piece. Tell me when we're good. Okay. We're good. Two weeks ago, a young woman was found wandering, barefoot, pregnant, and alone on a barren stretch of highway a hundred miles from the nearest... Oh! We lost the engine!
So what we're learning here is it's going to be a really, like, chill weekend. Relaxed, nice long walks through abandoned countryside and murder fields. Yeah. Oh, cool. Just going to dump me here, huh? Right, I'm going to go this way. How's that sound? No? Fine. Be that way. Let's see. Tab doesn't do anything. Shift. Shift is probably sprint. Not now, though. Oh, I can't even crouch. Oh, nothing works. Okay, so don't try to play the game yet. <laughs> I can't bring up a camera. I might not be that character. Hi. Yep, school children. Horrifying. Yep. Oh, to Jessica. So that's the dead student. Right? Am I Jessica? Wait, how tall am I? I'm not very tall, am I? Not always a great way to judge age because of, you know, people's actual height differences, but... Oh, goody, I'm playing as Jessica as she dies. Goody. Can't wait. By the way, damn, the graphical fidelity changed between Outlast 1 and 2. Yep, let's follow the creepy janitor man who almost certainly murders me. Can't wait. I mean, he does a good job. Look how shiny these lockers are. He's dedicated to his craft. Yes, I, yeah, I'm a tiny person. That's what I'm getting. That's what I'm learning here. Okay. Cool! Nightmare sequences. So that seemed like it was Jessica. And I was another student, maybe? I was, some I was someone tiny. Okay. We're just gonna start off wounded in this game? Again? Yeah, that rapid click. First time event. <laughs> Look at that hand detail. It's probably the only part of his body that exists. Is the arms. <laughs> That's a problem. Lynn? Lynn? Review footage. Oh, look at that. By the way, he uh, he started recording, then stopped recording, then started recording again. I thought the whole thing when you're when you're doing a documentary or or news is like you're supposed to always be rolling so that you catch stuff in between. Because it was weird that he stopped and started. I thought that's not supposed to be how they do their jobs, but I don't actually know. So let's try this. Nope. How do I select you? Oh, weird. This is super weird. You navigate with WASD, but then you click to say yes. I'm Lynn Langerman, here for Newstomorrow.net. We're flying past the Havasupai Indian Reservation in central Arizona in search of the origins of murder victims. So this is trippy. So th this is, uh, we, we, we were recording vo a video in the first game all the time. But you, you were just recording it, and that was it. You couldn't, like, open your your uh, your camera and actually review it. So is it... I guess it, it might be actually creating video files as we go. Which is weirdly meta, considering I'm also creating video files as we go, which you're watching right now. On your computer. <laughs> or whatever. Okay. We're good. Two weeks ago, a young woman was found wandering, barefoot, pregnant, and alone. On a barren stretch of highway, a hundred miles from... So here's something interesting. When it's playing, I can zoom in, and I can focus on specific things. Like this is a digital zoom, in that it's not actually- I'm not controlling the camera right now. It's, uh, recorded from earlier. So I can't control the camera right now. But I can do digital zooms, and like a pan and scan, within that frame. So if something weird happens- oh god, th that's gonna be a thing, isn't it? I'm gonna be reviewing old footage, and like, checking- weird, nightmarish things that show up in them, and like, then we're being able to review what it is, because I might need to look it back and do it for, like, clues and stuff. We can display it chronologically, by category, Genesis, Job, Lamentations, Revelations, Leviticus, Judges. Why do you have these things? Why are these folders in here? We also have photos. Why does, why does he have folders named stuff like that already? Game hasn't even started yet. Okay, so let's review the footage, sure. But how do I... 
You can always see your objective by, by pressing tab, sure. Okay. Okay, so tab opens this up. But right trigger actually is how you aim the camera. And how do you record? F is night vision, sure. 50 megabits per second recording. No signs of people around. So I'm curious about the options here. So controls. There must be a way to start recording when you want to, right? Right mouse button to toggle camera. Does it just always record? Maybe it does just always record. So I don't see any mention of actually toggling the recording itself. I just figured I'd want to like point a camera at something and then like be able to like make recordings. I was gonna start documenting this myself and be like, hey look, that's the that's our crash location. I need a way out of here. I don't think going down's gonna work. Or is it? Am I supposed to jump down? Uh-oh. That's a super long drop. Here we go. Well, all my limbs are still working, which is lucky for a helicopter crash. Just watch me screw that up now, though. Oh, boy. So we're having our obligatory control tutorial. They're straight- they're pretty straightforward controls, but introducing the possibility is important. Like letting people know they can- they can crawl along ledges like that. So it auto-records. Aim at the event until the red circle is full. And so now it's in my in my catalog. She wasn't there. Lim's body wasn't in the wreckage. She could still be alive. Oh good. So revisiting not so comfortable parts of the game are gonna be a uh, reoccurring thing, is what we're getting at here. So look oh, forward to shit. that. Jesus. Is No, there's no bodies. She's not in here. Lynn! Lynn! Time to start running. Oh, what was that? A bandage. Never mind, let's not start running. Let's do a quick scan around the place. Apparently we have an inventory in this game. Because bandages were not a thing before. We had batteries. And this batteries are going to stop being a thing. Well, I, I know one way to check. The controls mentioned. Do 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 do. I saw the B word down here. Which one is that? Yeah, batteries and bandages. Okay, so we have both. Batteries are still R, bandages are now H for heal, I suppose. And hopefully I won't accidentally hit the reload button reflexively and waste batteries like I did I think I did last time. And now I can't see anything, so this really might want me to do this. Yeah, get used to this over the course of the game. Let's so maybe start without it. That's probably <gasps> Oh, fuck me! Pilot? Fuck, 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 fuck! That... did not happen in the crash! Fuck this! Lynn! That's a bad time. I'm... thinking that's the pilot. We're, uh, time to leave. Time to leave immediately. Ah, crap. Everything sucks. Find Lin. Nothing matters but Lin. Pilot. I don't even remember his name. What the fuck kind of people would skin somebody alive? Oh, Jesus Christ, Lin. I don't think skinning is the first thing that comes to mind, but damn. Well, at least we're at least we're less idiotic this time around than we were in the last game. Cuz in the last game, 
we just broke into a place like an idiot and then trapped ourselves immediately. At least we crashed. I'd be less annoyed with our protagonist. Left alt. That's a really awkward button to press. Alright. Not feeling good about our, our batteries right now at all. I'm gonna have to try to not waste them all at once. Geronimo! The town. Oh, thank God. I thought we were miles from anything. Welcome to Murder Valley. Do you really want to find out about the town? Considering what just happened around here? Oh, look. Let's go towards people. They've been so good to us so far. Look at that. Whoa, what's with the wind here? You gotta really hang out for a while if you want to record something with your camera. Which means that you better not be getting chased by something at that moment. Can I have you? Are you a weapon? Grab the rake. Dude, grab the rake. Please. Alright. Never mind, he is an idiot. I have rescinded my previous comment. We probably should not be trying the first house next to the horrible murder victim location. That seems like a bad call. But you know, you do you. It's your life on the line. There's not supposed to be anything for miles. But I wasn't alone out here. Fuck, I wasn't alone out here. Okay, so we're doing this again. So Miles Upshur, when you caught something on your camera, he would then write notes in his notebook about the thing you caught on camera. Now you actually replay the same video in a weird, comp in a little crappy compressed video and everything, and then he like talks over that, which is a it's, a, it's a new spin. You gotta have new spins if you're gonna make a sequel. They got away with using the same location and everything in the DLC, but once you make a sequel, they gotta actually try not getting out of that asylum. Those are welcoming background noises. How murdered am I about to be? Wow, that's actually like loud to the point of being like right next to me. Hey, murder town. How's things hanging in here? It's real dark. So everything around me just creaks constantly, more or less. Who's... Great! Can't wait. Okay. I'm sure he's completely sane. Okay, we got broken dolls. Someone already has seen me now. Shit's... Fucked. So, welcome to paradise. And they pitchforked a cow to death. Please pick something up, protagonist. Just something. I know you're not a fighter, but like, you, even if you're like gonna cower like a jackass when something actually shows up, you'd still like grab a stick just to feel a little better. Okay, good. Great. Everyone's just gonna back away when I look at them, huh? Alright, we've officially confirmed that people know I'm here, and my choice... My parent decision is to keep going deeper inside, huh? Okay. Okie dokie. This is why I stay in my house forever. Great. Okay, hi. The fuck am I looking at? You appear to be a corpse. Those are really bad sounds. Oh, I should not be doing that, actually. Uh, hold open slowly.
You know, fuck you. This is my house now. I'm gonna barricade the door and I'm just gonna live in here. Forever. And no one can make me not do that. Oh boy. Look around with... left... Okay, so... Dear Father, our loving God continues to bless me with visions, and I know more certain than ever that the enemy is nearer with every day. I was scrubbing the stains from the floor of Daniel's room when the blessed music rose inside me and sank me into true sight, where I saw a creature like the burning sun, but with inward rings of teeth upon teeth and dangling beneath limbs that I took to be arms, but were cocks that rose in childing purpose, and as the monstrous sun descended, it fucked the earth and birthed some great and slouching horror from the fire. It was... I was filled with the same fear, so great that I could not breathe nor move and saw myself all those years back, blinding Daniel with the lie and tried to weep but could not, and when I woke and found myself wet with lusting, painfully desirous to feel a man inside me, and the feeling was not so far different from the fear. I tried to confront, comfort myself with your teachings. Terror is a joy in the movement of God. But I would take greater comfort in your manhood inside me than in a firm prayer than the Antichrist be strangled into my womb. The most faithful of your flock and holy longing, Lisa. Okay. Great. You can, um... The, that's, by the way, not... A portrait you'd expect to see around that. Is this supposed, is this a character we're gonna meet? A leader character and whatever the fuck religion thing's going on here? Cause what the fuck even is this? Great, great. Well, at least lo at least at least we know that these things are back. Bet you can't wait. We can peek out nice and slowly. To be awfully terrified of yourselves. Then we get our leans. Goody. Goody. Alright. We can also hide under beds. Yep. Welcome back to these mechanics. So those still remain. As much as you probably wish they didn't. <laughs> so they have crosses, but I'm not really thinking that Christian is that Christianity is what we're talking about here. I think this is just full on losing their goddamn minds in, in a Death Valley thing. Hi. Don't mind me. I was just, you know, ch chilling inside your house. How many batteries do I have? That's a problem. Yes. That's good news. So if you have any batteries you have, press tab Nothing is what it said, right? Two out of 18, I think? As dear father. No reaction this time? Ah! There you can go if you want to just be able to read it. Looks like they're reusing the same font from the previous game. Their handwriting font. Alright, well I have to reload now. One way or another. Goody goody. We'll find out the hard way how many I actually have. How much you want to bet I've already missed some? That's that's fucked up. Yeah? I would say so. Tragedy wall. Topped with barbed wire. I could feel tension in my skin. Somebody watching me. I mean, we know people are watching us. We've already confirmed that much. So don't be a. <laughs> no ambiguity there, which is the worst thing. I don't think I can open this door. I walked up to the door and turned off my light and everything, thinking I was going to go in, and I actually can't open it. C can I go past this somehow? No, that's not the way to go, apparently. Unless I'm going to climb over the barbed wire, which seems not true. Am I supposed to backtrack? Or was there a thing over here I missed? Oh, climb up here? 
Not a climber, huh? Great. Yeah, no, great. Just sa save yourself. Should really be leaving. Okay. Was that trike here last time? I'll be totally honest, I'm not entirely sure where I'm supposed to go right now. Don't really see doors that open around here. So maybe I'm supposed to film something I haven't noticed yet. Do I just gaze in through the window? Here I am looking in like a creeper. Anyone home? Is there some missing detail I'm not noticing here? There's a bunch of photos, you, babies, pretty much all babies. Gruesomely, I kind of assume they're probably, oh, does this window, ah, there we go. Yeah, thanks. Thanks for that. You're welcome, everybody. Ha ha. Ha. Some doors have deadbolts that can be used to lock or unlock the door. Oh my god, I can lock doors, that's so... I'd be- I'd feel ha I'd feel safer also for the fact that, of course, that means I'm not actually gonna be safe from that. So that has a deadbolt on it. We should check the side door, right? This is the back of the door I couldn't open before? Okay, so that's still gonna stay locked. And I don't see any batteries unless I can, like, get inside this thing. Nope. I should be able to grab batteries from that crap. I want batteries. Yeah, no one disposes of their food in these hillbilly murder mystery s situations. Let's open up. Oh, I have to go backwards in this case. Don't worry, guys. I'm sure we're safe. Oh, goody! Yeah, more creepy confined spaces. Let's try not get cut on the wire. And I once again can see Jack all. So we're off to a great start with my batteries, which I will now run out of at this rate. Great. Well, welcome to paradise. Satan imitate God? Is that what it means? How many goddamn batteries do I have? This is actually bothering me. Find how to... Lin. Nothing matters but Lin. I don't see how to find out how many batteries I have, and it's bothering me a lot, actually. I thought it said tab, but then I lost track of where oh. Oh, my pockets. Uh oh. Well, I don't see any batteries in that pocket, so we're pretty screwed then. And those are my bandages. So we're we're doing Alone in the Dark 2008 inventory? No one should do anything from Alone in the Dark 2008. Okay. Well, mystery solved. Oh, cool. Um, a murder crib. Yeah, I have one of those in my basement too. Really brings the room together. 